Hello, here is a slice of lung when we can see the visceral pleura, the lobes of the lung and the hyla structures. There are some lymph nodes here. Uh, here is actually an example of a pneumoconiosis and this is a case of silicosis. A pneumoconiosis is defined as a non-neoplastic lung reaction to the inhalation of particles which can be organic or inorganic and also uh, inhalation of chemicals and fumes and vapors. Usually, this is due to occupational exposure. And um, in this instance, silicosis is usually seen in workers in the sandblasting industries or perhaps uh, in those who also do stone cutting. Now, the first thing that actually strikes you about this uh, particular specimen is that the lung parenchyma is extremely blackened uh, I'm just going to increase the magnification here. You can just make out some other areas which are a little bit paler, like uh, for example here, which is more of the normal coloration of the cut surface of the lung. But all these other black areas is due to carbon pigment. And this accumulation of carbon can either be due to heavy smoking or it could also be due to occupational exposure because sometimes in these industries there can also be an element of coal dust that can also be inhaled together with the silica. So we can actually appreciate uh, the pathology better on this opposite surface and I'm going to zoom in. Several things can be seen uh, in silicosis. First of all, you'll notice that the visceral pleura is extremely thickened and this is due to pleural fibrosis. You can see that even the interlobar fissure is also thickened and this is one of the effects of silicosis. Silicosis is a type of fibrosing pneumoconiosis that causes a lot of fibrosis in the lung parenchyma, in the pleura, and also in the regional lymph nodes. So when we look at the lung parenchyma, we can see that there are some of these whitish areas. These actually represent parenchymal fibrosis. Uh, this may or may not eventually progress to coalescent areas of fibrosis, and that is known as progressive massive fibrosis. This is when the patients will start to become symptomatic and to experience a respiratory compromise. Here is an example of a very, very severe parenchymal fibrosis. And this picture is taken from Robbins and Cochran's pathologic basis of disease. And you can see that this is the right lung and the entire upper lobe is severely scarred and contracted. And you see this uh, kind of whitish appearance. This is due to a uh, very, very severe fibrosis. Uh, there are also some incidental emphysematous changes here. As we can see, these subpleural uh, bullae or blebs. Now, in addition, you will notice that the lymph nodes themselves in the hyla region are enlarged. In this instance, I don't really see any obvious fibrosis within the lymph nodes, uh, at least not grossly. But the silica particles can also find their way into the lymphatics and give rise to areas of nodular fibrosis within the lymph nodes. Here is an example of a biopsy taken from a hyla lymph node. And you see these large areas of fibrosis. Uh, the pink material is actually dense collagen. And this is classically what we see in these silicotic nodules. Under polarized light microscopy, we would actually be able to see the silica particles. So in summary, this is uh, an example of a case of silicosis, which is a fibrosing pneumoconiosis. This can give rise to pleural fibrosis, parenchymal fibrotic nodules, which may sometimes progress to progressive massive fibrosis, and it, they can also give rise to fibrotic nodules within the hyla or regional lymph nodes. In this instance, there is also accompanying increased carbon deposition within the lung parenchyma, which may also be due to occupational exposure.